The Astrodome project is looking to try and find an earlier signal for the onset of dementia, but just using routinely collected patient data from general practice patient records. So this would mean that we could pick up the risk of dementia slightly earlier in some patients, but nobody would be subjected to any additional screening tests or brain scans. We'd just be using information that's routinely collected by their general practitioners. In the case of the, uh, the dementia analysis, you're trying to make a, a diagnosis. You're trying to classify one type of patient from another type of patient on the basis of the data that you've got. So an analogy would be um, when we do big surveys of the universe, we collect lots of data from lots of different telescopes and they give us different pictures of different sorts of galaxies. So you see galaxies with different colours and we want to classify those galaxies. We want to look at how many red ones there are, how many blue ones there are. So we use the statistical techniques in astronomy to classify the different types of galaxies and those same sorts of techniques can be used to classify different types of patients. So a galaxy is analogous to a, to a patient. At first glance it might appear to be unusual to be combining the fields of astrophysics and epidemiology, how we diagnose patients. However, in some ways, the problems have similarities. In astrophysics, we often have really expensive experiments. You spend a billion pounds creating a satellite, sending it into space, and taking data. You can only look at objects for a short space of time, and you might not get to look at those objects again. Often, the satellites can have mechanical noise or electrical noise, and there's also other confounding sources which can confuse your results. Similarly, in electronic healthcare records, not every patient who has a condition actually receives a diagnosis. Not every patient who has a diagnosis actually has the condition. When you've got decades of electronic healthcare record data that you're trying to process, you can't redo that experiment. So what you need to do is you need to find the techniques that best explain the process under which that data was generated and use that to try and understand the processes of interest. For instance, that could be what's the chance that a patient with one condition goes on to receive a second condition, given that neither of those conditions are perfectly diagnosed. Because GPs are recording things as they go through their routine clinical consultations, they haven't got research purposes in mind when they're creating this data. So GPs really create the data to make it as clinically useful as possible, but that's not the same as really useful for research purposes. Sometimes people are missing a code for their condition, and astrophysicists work really well with data that's noisy and there's lots of errors in it. So we thought that using astrophysics data skills on this kind of messy patient data could bring benefits in terms of being able to interpret the data. Dementia diagnosis coming earlier could be really helpful. People can tell their loved ones um, what their care preferences are as the disease progresses and they can sort out their finances and their wills and things like that and that could be really helpful for people. Mm -hmm.